Okay, so after we've found the words that we want in the academic word list, we're then going to bring them across to OneNote. And here is a page already opened up for me to use in OneNote. This is my vocab page. You can see the tab here. And I've got over here my academic word list. Now you see here I have a number of columns coming down here. So we've got this one here, uh, basically just the words. As we find the words, we're just going to drop it in here. So these are good academic word, consequently. Now, I think this is my suggestion. You don't have to copy this, but something like this is good. Think of a synonym. Think of a simple synonym um, and, and try and be informal with this one. Just basic, the basic idea. Um, don't, don't use this word in writing. This is just so you understand the vocab. And then think of some other synonyms. So you can use a thesaurus. So above here, we see, if we're looking at this word consequently, we see above here, if, and this only works, unfortunately, if you have a computer or a laptop, this won't work on your iPad. But I'll show you an alternative in a second. So we come into um, review here, and we go to thesaurus. We see this popping off to the SOP. Oh, off to the side here. So we've got this so, we've got thus, therefore, accordingly. We can put some of these words in here. Now, if you have the iPad and you, you can't use this thesaurus element, come to Google, the answer to everything. And here's a really good site for you to use. It's exactly the same, maybe even better, thesaurus.com. You see it up here, thesaurus.com. And we would just write in the same word here. And thesaurus.com um, do the same thing here okay, consequently search for it there and there we go we've got some down here as well so that's another way of doing it finding synonyms for words coming back now into here so we want to think also about antonyms the opposite kind of word what's the opposite of it for consequently there is no opposite but for some other words see here we have excellent we, we might have um, ineffective would be a good example we it's very important when you get a new word like consequently here that we are considering other kinds of word formed so we we need to think is there a verb in this situation um, no there isn't so we're thinking of Nouns, is there a noun? A consequence, yes. Is there an adjective? Yep, consequent. And then the adverb, that's not right, should have an ly, consequently. We can also have it as part of a sentence, as a consequence. So that's really a noun, but it's working like an adverb, consequently, or as a consequence of very similar. Then the very important bit, come over here, and in this column here, we want to practice using the word. Now we've got to be a bit careful that we use it in an academic context. So try and write about, don't, don't write about yourself, for example. Th these are academic words, so use them in an academic context. Don't, don't talk about yourself too much. Now this is just my one. I've just made this very quickly. It's not very beautiful. I've highlighted it over here. You can come and highlight the columns if you think this column is particularly important. Go in there and do something. Um, make it all green, for example. You could change it that way. Or Okay, so if you're using your computer, this will be slightly different on your iPad. Come into a column. Let's say we have this verb column, and we want to highlight it somehow. Come to the table, and we're looking for the shading column. And maybe I want to use that nice yellow color for that. And we can do the same thing with all the columns. So you go and highlight that however you like. That would be a good way to do it. Another thing to remember is this is for academic vocab. So I would suggest that if you wanted another one that you added another page, we did the same thing over here and we did something with topic specific vocab and you just copied that table and put it into your topic specific one. Do exactly the same thing. Put it in there. Put your topic specific vocab.